Hi, we're Team 5. Our project is called ShopperBot. So I'll just give you a brief idea of the project. Uh, imagine a departmental store, or imagine a dockyard, or imagine a warehouse, or a, or a factory. Now, wh what does it have in common? At all these places, you have two processes happening uh, concurrently. One is sorting, and one is delivery. So our project is uh, an attempt to simulate the process, the generic processes of sorting and delivery. Uh, we have uh, attempted to use RFID tags, and there's going to be a gripper bot which is going to pick up objects, read its RFID tag, and based on its tag, try and sort it and place it over different delivery bots. These delivery bots will then take it to the correct destination. So how it works is that the laptop is the brain behind the entire process. We call it the coordinator. All other bots are slave bots. They take, uh, they take commands from the laptop via wireless communication or through the Zigbee module. And everything, including picking up an object, dropping an object, is done by the laptop. So at each intersection, the, the bots will tell the laptop that I have reached an intersection. The laptop will then instruct the bots and tell them what to do. Uh, we will now show you a brief demo of the process. So uh, this is our gripper bot. And this bot will collect this object first. And it will read the RFID tag, which is attached over here. And the module on the gripper bot is over here. Uh, so it will re uh, the arm will read the tag. And then it, uh, it will communicate to the computer. And the computer will tell it to place on this delivery bot. And then this delivery bot will go and place it on that blue spot. And uh, simultaneously, this bot will come and pick up this red object. And after picking it up, it will place it on that delivery bot, and that delivery bot will place it over there. So let's start the simulation. So as you can see, the gripper bot has moved towards the blue object. It's picked up the blue object and is now going to place it on top of the delivery bot, which, is, uh, which has got a blue strip of paper on top of it. Uh, that delivery bot's final destination is 4,4. And so let's see if it can reach till there. Uh, one particular issue that we think we should be solving here is the line following. Uh, we wish we had better sensors and I think better charge batteries. As you can see, both bots have simultaneously moved. Uh, the laptop has asked the delivery bot to go to its destination and the gripper bot to move towards its next object. The gripper bot has now reached its second object and uh, it's picked up the second object and it's now going towards the red delivery bot which is placed at 4 comma 0. And so, so it's basically it the gripper bot is a little drained of battery but Otherwise, you can see it moving towards the delivery bot. And it's dropped the delivery, it's dropped the object on the red delivery bot. And you will now see the red delivery bot moving towards its destination, which is here, um, 4 comma 5. And as you can see, it's moving straight towards its destination. And yep, it's reached its destination. In conclusion, we would first like to just elaborate a few of the challenges that we faced. Um, firstly, the first major challenge we faced was in RFID interfacing. Uh, the issue was that there was no documentation available on RFIDs, and hence it took us time to figure out what the connections were, how to interface it, what kind of code is required to be burnt on the microcontroller. Um, in the end, the RFID uh, tag and communication is actually a very simple task with only four wires. Uh, we've explained exactly how to connect it in our uh, in our readme file. Uh, <coughs> the second major challenge was in Zigbee communication. Um, as you saw, there were at least three or four uh, three uh, robots uh, communicating concurrently with the laptop, and um, there weren't any miscommunications. And for that, we had to create a protocol to ensure that there was no miscommunication or wrong input of signals. The third major challenge, I would say, would be in hardware. Uh, uh, if you would have seen, there were few. There was, uh, although the project wasn't aimed at line following or detecting of intersections or correctly picking up objects, because that can always be corrected by hardware. But 
as we tried to do the best we could and there were issues in that there were sensing issues and there were the bot bot didn't pick it up pick up objects correctly so those were some of the issues we faced uh, in for the future uh, people who want to upgrade this project one thing that we suggest y'all could do is uh, make an android app uh, so just getting back to the shopping shop, shopping market scenario <coughs> if a user comes in and on his android app he decides what objects he wants then by the time he reaches the shopping uh, shopping market a delivery robot has already collected all his objects and is is and all his objects are lying in a basket ready for him to pick it up so that is some that is one of the automations that you can do apart from that as if you noticed the delivery bots they left the objects uh, the objects weren't removed from the delivery bots so a, a person who's enthusiastic could also create a robot which would actually pick up objects from the delivery bot and then continue with the automation to completely automate the process also anyone who's willing to use rfid tags and scanners that is another thing that you could use from our project uh, finally all of all all our bots were coordinated with the laptop which is basically a single point of failure so uh, in the future if you wanted to avoid that another upgrade could be um having image processing on each of the robots to ensure that path planning collision avoidance and uh, a movement on the grid can be done directly without the use of the laptop